So, as you can see, I have the AP Air Locker 700 or Air Locker AP 700, whichever way you want to do it. And the reason I have this is because I'm going to be taking a lot of pallets apart over the next 12 months. Some of you may already know that I'm redoing my garage. So I'm going to do all the walls in pallet wood. Just in case you ain't been here before, I'm Jeremy Wilson. This is me, McCall Woodshop. So I got my corner all done. Check that out in another video somewhere. But uh, yeah. A lot of nails and pallet wood. So, I bought this little thing. This is going to punch all the nails out of this pallet wood for me. It does not come with a NPT tip, quarter inch, or, yeah, I think so. But it doesn't come with this. So, we're going to put this on. We'll put a little bit of oil in it. It does come with some oil. comes with a little Allen wrench. That takes your Allen bolts out. All right, let's uh, get this tip on here. I did check, and it is a quarter MPT air fitting tip. I put some thread tape on it so it seals up real nice. Tighten it down with a wrench. You didn't have to kill it. Doesn't need any ugga duggas. Just a little bit of uh, elbow grease on there. Speaking of elbow grease, I gotta get this oil out of here. Now this oil comes with a tip on it and I will be finding out here pretty quick that you have to cut the end of the tip off which makes sense because that is pretty much what's sealing the bottle right now after figuring out how to use a little oil can it's a uh, time to put the oil in all you need is like one or two drops and uh, maybe one or two drops a week depending on how much you use it i'm probably not going to use it that often so i'll probably go one or two drops every other time i use it i don't know we'll see <laughs> I like that. So, let's uh, see how it does on a pallet. That blow them right out of there. So just in case y'all weren't privy to uh, what this looked like before, I'll give you a uh, real time here, me taking a nail out by hand. And that's on a good day. And real time with an air locker. That's a lot of time saved when you gotta take a bunch of pallets apart. Now, the one thing that I don't like about it is how far this comes out. See there? That comes out a good quarter of an inch. And it kinda leaves some holes in the board. This board ain't no good, but there wasn't even a nail there and that left a pretty considerable hole. About as bad as what the nail heads are, really. 
So I think I'm gonna file that down so that it's not so long. And uh, won't leave such a big hole. But I may not, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop some more of these nails out and uh, yeah, y'all ought to get you one of those. You wanna see what it looks like with uh, cut off nails, catch it. So this board, I used a Sawzall on. See these nails? They're uh, pretty short. Let's see if I can punch them out. Gone. 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 Well, they're out the back anyway. Before, I'd have to get a punch. And I'll go ahead and show you. Get these out real quick. Before I would use a punch, to get me to this point. Definitely better. We'll see it again. That's uh, pretty nice. Now the reason I haven't had this up until today, some kind of adjustment here on the back, I think. So I noticed what looked like a knob on the back of this thing. And well, you can see I'm playing with it here quite a bit. I did find out that there are three holes on this knob. What it is, is an exhaust direction knob. You can turn it to blow the exhaust in different directions that way it's not blowing right in your face or blowing up your shirt or down your britches you can blow it in any direction you want whatever makes you feel comfortable really a little trick i did figure out is i don't have to file this pin down i found out if i hold it just off the board it will knock the nails out leaving a pretty clean hole you do have to pull them out with a hammer because it doesn't shoot them all the way out, but it doesn't leave that big nasty hole in your board that you're going to use as your A surface. So, eh, I, it's kind of a lesser of the evils, I suppose. No matter how you send it, it is still much faster than using just a hammer. Now this next example is not something you're likely to find in the user manual. This is something I found out myself. <laughs> Got some shorter nails.
that's a uh, pretty awesome all right so if you're gonna be doing a lot of pallets you should definitely buy one of these I'm not affiliated with them but I will put a link in the description below so that you can uh, get yourself one off of Amazon it's like 60 bucks it's gonna save me a freaking crap load of time thought maybe that was a safety but anyway yeah if you're going to be taking pallets apart you need one of these these are awesome I will be using the crap out of this thing all right that's all for today